David, why is the search focusing on that area? Well, Anna, agents are attempting to trace his whereabouts and plot them on a map, so to speak. Of course, this whole thing started in Miami in late February with the disappearances of 20-year-old Rosario Gonzalez and 23-year-old Beth Kenyon of Coral Gables. From there, agents say Christopher Wilder traveled cross-country. He is now a suspect in the kidnappings of eight women from Florida to Nevada. His last known victim, 17-year-old Michelle Korfman of Las Vegas, disappeared on April 1st. From there, agents say he traveled north to the northern part of Nevada. He showed up on April 3rd in Lake Tahoe, where he he approached a woman posing as a fashion photographer, tried to lure her into his car. She refused and called the FBI. And from there, FBI agents say he traveled across the Nevada-California border. On April 4th, he showed up in a town called Truckee, California, where he again uh, approached a woman, tried to lure her into his car, again posing as a fashion photographer. She refused and called the FBI. But from there, they've really lost his trail. Or agents say they've lost his trail. But uh, just a few uh, miles west of Truckee is Sacramento. 100 miles west of Sacramento is San Francisco. That's where we are. Agents are focusing uh, right now in uh, Northern California and also in the Los Angeles area. David, authorities have told us that they need public cooperation to crack the case, to catch Wilder. Is the help coming in? It certainly is coming in here in San Francisco. FBI agents and also the San Francisco police, they say they have received dozens of phone calls from people who say they have uh, spotted or think they have spotted Wilder because his picture has been on all the newspapers and on the national media. They say they are checking out every single one of those leads, but all of them are unconfirmed right now. They say they will check out every single one until Wilder is apprehended. Reporting live via satellite from San Francisco, David Goldstein, News 4.